The Navisworks user interface has multiple parts. In this lesson, we will learn what each part is called and their purpose. So that we have the same tools available to us while we're doing this lesson, move your cursor up and select on the word View. Over toward the right-hand side, you will see an option called Load Workspace. Click on Load Workspace, then pick Navisworks Standard. This will close Navisworks down and reload the same menus that I have currently on my screen. Once you've done this, make sure that the Home tab is highlighted. This bar that's going across the top of our screen is called the ribbon, and the ribbon contains the majority of commands that you will use inside of Navisworks. Some of the things that it can do is it can allow us to append files to our Navisworks project. We can select our different selection tools. We can even control the visibility of our Navisworks models. And each of these tabs has its own commands underneath it. If we select on the Viewpoint tab, we can see that we can create perspective views. We can navigate around our Navisworks model by using the different navigation commands. And each of the tabs going across, if you select on them, you will find still more commands. But if you do not want to find your favorite command on the ribbon, another place that you can find your command is on what's called the Quick Access Toolbar. And the Quick Access Toolbar is this gray bar going across the top of your screen. If you want to add your favorite command to the Quick Access Toolbar, in this case I want to add Perspective, which can be found underneath Viewpoint, highlight on that command, right click, and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And now we can see that perspective command, its picture is now on the Quick Access Toolbar. And if I would click on that command, all the tools related to perspective. To remove it from the Quick Access Toolbar, right click and then Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. And that will remove the command. Another location for commands is underneath this gray button with a green N. It's called the Application button. Click on the Application button, and from here we have the Application menu, which contains the ability to open up new projects, open existing projects, save your projects, as well as print. Another area that you have access to under the Application menu is the Options bar. You won't get into options very often, but I do want to show it to you. If you select on options, these are the hidden commands inside of Navisworks, such as changing the way that your screen displays, or changing the units of your model from metric to imperial units. For right now, we'll just select on OK. The next area are these tabs going down the side, as well as across the bottom. Each of these tabs is called a window. And if you select on the tab, in this case I'm selecting on Item Catalog, we can see that this opens up the Item Catalog window. We could do our commands inside of the Item Catalog. Then when we were done, just click inside of the Graphics window. This is the window where your model will display. And it will automatically hide that window. If we want that window to stay open, we can do that as well by moving our cursor over, selecting on Item Catalog, then clicking on the little pin symbol, which is called Auto Hide, and this will keep this Item Catalog now open. If we click here inside of the Graphics window, we can see that the Item Catalog does not automatically minimize itself again. To have it shrink back down again and be one of the tabs over on the left hand side, just select on that pin head, and it will auto hide itself. Over toward the right hand side of the screen, we have our different view controls. One is called the view cube, and the other is the navigation bar. These allow us to zoom around our model and see our models from different areas or from different angles. At the bottom of the program, we have what's called the status bar, and right now it just has the word ready. The status bar allows us to see what the command wants from us as far as input goes. If you've used other CAD software programs such as AutoCAD for instance, 
it will have a command line going across the bottom of the screen. That's the same thing in Navisworks. This is your command line, which is asking the question of what should you do next? Over toward the right hand side, we have the project browser, which is this button here, as well as directly next to it, the performance indicators. Indicators allow us to see how the performance of the model is affected by our hard drive or our network speeds. And finally, if you ever need to have help, you can move your cursor up toward the top of the screen, and there is an option here that looks like a question mark, and by selecting on the question mark, that opens up your help menu where you can find information related to all of these commands.